Hi there, and welcome to the first devlog of Beholder's Lair, the game that I'm making. I've been working on this game for a while, so this video is mostly gonna be me talking about the current state of the game and my future plans. The game has a short story. You're an adventurer and you decide to go to this dungeon looking for treasure, but it turns out there's a beholder living inside the dungeon and the beholder has a cult serving him and doing whatever he wants to do uh, so they capture you when you're sleeping then the beholder decides to throw you into a series of dungeons and see if you can survive and if you can survive he'll grant you your freedom there are three dungeons with three levels each in total nine levels and in each level there are seven keys you need to collect all the keys in a level to advance to the next level and the game has permadeath so if you die you start from the beginning one of the unique aspects of the game is the fact that there is only a single enemy in each level and the player has no way of fighting that enemy so it's a constant chase between the player and the enemy and the player has to dodge and avoid the enemy while collecting all the keys in order to escape to the next level. Every enemy has a different movement pattern, so the player has to figure it out and try to outsmart the enemy. Also, I'm not really good at art, so that's why I'm using mostly other people's assets that I paid for and also some that I found online for free. I'm using the Godot engine to make the game. I'm also learning Unity on the side, but I'm much more experienced and fast developing with Godot. The game is based on a game I made in two days as a challenge to myself, and that game is called The Layer of the Beholder. I was originally gonna use the same name, but that name was too long and people were having problems remembering the name, and some were even having problems pronouncing the name. So I decided to go with Beholder's Lair, which is much shorter and easier to remember. So that game I made in two days was pretty basic. I created a player character that could run around and jump and also double jump. Then I added an enemy that sole purpose was to chase the player until it caught him that could also jump and sometimes double jump but you never knew when he was gonna jump so it was kind of funny <laughs> finally I designed a level added some coins which later on became keys in the full game that the player can collect and I also created some menus a windscreen a lose condition and the game was done. Now let's take a look at what Beholder's Lair looked like initially. So this is what the game looked like. After about a month of development, I had basically recreated the layer of the Beholder, but I made it much more scalable and I also improved upon things like movement. Getting platformer movement right is very difficult so I actually spend a fair bit of time perfecting uh, player speed, jump force, I added things like coyote time, variable jumps, jump buffering and so on. Besides that I also implemented a basic level progression system that uses levels and dungeons. I also added the basic enemy and some menus and a basic win condition. As I show you more, you're gonna realize a drastic difference of the graphics of the game. And that's because I actually had a friend doing the art for me initially, but things didn't work out and we decided to separate. So I actually had to replace everything he did and find new art. So that's why the game is gonna change a lot. Fast forward a couple of weeks, I implemented random generation to my game. I created this system in which basically each level had different templates that can choose from to create it. So 
I added in total about a hundred templates and each level could pick six, yeah, I think it was six templates from those uh, collection of templates. So each time you played, you would see a different set of templates presented to you. But I actually ended up uh, removing this from the game because it was making things too, too complicated and it was gonna take me too, too long to finish the game. And I actually wanted to get this game out there as soon as I can. At this point, I added things like high scores and a level completed menu that shows up every time you finish a level. And you can select an, an item after each level that gives you different kinds of abilities. Then I made a story sequence that shows up every time you launch the game. I also remade the menu, the main menu. And in this new version, you, you have to jump into halls to do certain actions like starting the game or going to the, to the options menu, which I thought was pretty interesting. This is what the game looks like today. As you can see, a lot has changed. I've also released the game on Steam since then as early access. So if you want to, you can check it out. I'm planning on doing more videos like this in the future, talking about new stuff that I plan on adding to the game. So stay tuned if you're interested. And that's it. Thank you for watching.